Hello, hello, it's me, Fildo, and this time, this episode, episode 11, not that I've started saying the episode number, but now I have, um, we will be taking a little walk from Riften. Um, I almost said down, because you go down, but it's north, anyhow, to a little town thing that's down here, to see if I can start a quest that has to do with the Red Guards. This quest is a part of um, <clears throat> Anniversary Edition. It gives you access to a person that is bound, sitting on the floor, cannot do anything, but he is a friendly NPC, I guess. And thus, um, like, friendly unkillable, so whenever you hit him, he, I think he gets angry, I don't remember, but he doesn't do anything, so, yeah. Um, and what is the quest? No. So, yeah, he doesn't do anything, his friends, you can just kill them, it does nothing for the quest anyway, so it's fine. That town over there, yep. Just go down here. So yeah, the the goal is just to get him so I can smack him around a bit. It's what I'm gonna use to level things like one-handed and archery. And probably sneak at the same time as arch archery. Um, and then, after I have unlocked that, we will have a little look-see at what you do in Riften to gain pickpocket. Did not forget, but this is a lot more interesting. And the pickpocket thing, I will probably do, you know, just show you what I'm doing and then skip till the end. Because there, there is no interesting anything in it. You just pickpocket gold of a guy and then give him the same amount of gold and pickpocket it off. On, off, on, off until you have a hundred. It's not interesting at all. So yeah, get the shores stone, and here you have the dude man. Just save, I probably will lose, because, you know, yeah, don't fight me, sure. That's how it works. Oh, he is gone, oh no! What am I doing? We'll be in touch, just to set this on. So yeah, talk to him, that's a big part of everything. Setting up uh, your training of one-handed, two-handed, sneak and archery. And also destruction, kind of, but not big, not for us, because we have a hundred enchanting. That was all of that, then we're gonna go back to Riften. And... Um, yeah. <laughs> that was quick and easy, just set up for a later date. Now we have to go to the prison and just walk into the prison. And that's, yeah. Okay, let's see here. What are you doing here? Um, I'm allowed. Go. Go poo poo, huh, I win. Let's let's thank you. Just so that that is done. It's not this chest. I just wanted to unlock both of them. I have no idea what this chest gets. I guess like the other one has my gear in it. Whenever that's the thing. This chest. Remember to open it up. Because it's easier doing it now, than when you're getting attacked. Then we will open this. And so, as you can see here, this is the man we will be pickpocketing. 
But before that, let's pull out the sword and find a guard to punch. Hello? Oh no, have I? Submit to take me to jail. And while we're here, let's... Uh, that one can be on. Do a save. And also just a quick save because I feel like it. Lockpick this. Doesn't really matter if you get detected by a guard. Oh, a guard heard me or saw me, whatever. Go in here, take stuff you need to kill the guard, I guess. Also the sneak equipment. Take... Whoop, hello. Equip your weapons, your armor. Wait, oh, fuck it. Just pick up all, pick up all of it. We can just put back what we don't need afterwards anyway. It's fine. Mhm. Mm Kill the guards. There should only be two of them. And that should be it. And then we have to... We don't have to do anything, but this is what we're gonna do. Equip the sneak items. Yeah, uh, FYI. This is suddenly another amulet. What happened to the last one? I realized that it was a stolen amulet. Doing this with a stolen equipment will just remove the equipment altogether. So then, yeah, you know, I would lose this. So I recrafted it with just a silver necklace. And also just heal up. So yeah, you see, he can see me, it doesn't matter. You can just do this. It's gonna take a while, but... Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I should have done that beforehand, but I didn't. Oh, I did! Ho ho! Remember to have the thieves. <laughs> so I cannot lockpick, lockpick, pick up. I will give him some gold. Uh, sixty gold. How difficult is that to take from you? It's a fifty percent chance. But it's going to level you fast. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put away <laughs> all of my gold, pretty much. I don't think this is going to mark it as stolen. I just... 50... That was... Well, yeah, that's true. You can't pick up some of it. You have to pick up all, all of it. So, yeah, just... Do an amount close to 60. If you do much more than that at the start, you may not even be able to pick it back out of him, which is, you know, a problem. Miscellaneous, not lockpicks. Give him the gold, scroll back up, steal the gold. Go down, give the gold, steal the gold. Give the gold, S oh, steal the gold. Oh, he caught me giving him gold, oh no. So yeah, this is literally what you do. Which is why I didn't feel like showing it. <laughs> it's what you call a tad bit boring. Still a 0% chance.
27. So what you could do, uh, so pickpocket has 20%. Item weight and value reduce pick. Yeah, easier to pickpocket valuable and weighty things. If you could, if you want to, I mean. Use three points to get cut purse. Or cut purse, I guess. This will just make gold easier to steal. Which then you could do more than uh, 60 some odd gold. Which I think I'll go ahead and pick up some more gold from my chest. Wait, I need to see, was it level 30? Oh yeah, no, that's target is asleep, but... Let's take some more gold out of my chest, or, you know, this, this chest. So, let's see. Like that. 87. Might be a bit much, but we'll see. It goes, like, exponentially. It feels like it does anyway. So just remember to just save beforehand in case a 60% chance to steal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm now forcing you to see this. It, so your pickpocket level is dependent on the value of the items and the amount of items. But the chance of stealing something is based off the value and um, the value and weight. Since gold doesn't weigh anything, it has a separate thing. But there's a lot of it, like it counts as stealing 87 items at once. And also, the value of each item, for some reason, counts as 87 instead of 1, which it should be. So, yeah. That is why stealing gold is such a good thing. Or, you know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some more gold by now. Just leaving the gold on him makes it easier to do this. Let's take... 30 something I'm just gonna go ahead and put away all the other things I have in this tab so I don't accidentally click on it so much easier if you just have one item there yeah that's easy enough Oh, I didn't know I could even give you the key. As you can see, it is now going a lot faster than it was. Just because of the exponentially faster and faster. <gasps> he caught me. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Let's go ahead and get some more. I uh, could just do this. Stamina. I'm going to take this and put it in the other, other chest. I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning. Oh, well. So let's store everything except another 40. Do a little sit down. Wait, what? Don't know what happened. Lost some money. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> ah, I did that. So 
So yeah, store everything except like, so it should say, that's a hundred. Let's go for a hundred and fifty something. 177, that might be a bit much, but we'll see. I know that's fine, it's easy. So yeah, this is what makes pickpockets so much easier than something like lockpicking. <coughs> Since lockpicking, you can only level up on new locks. If you didn't know. Oh, it's now a 1% chance to steal that necklace. I just keep giving you keys. 3% chance. 5% chance. See, it goes up quite drastically. 7 Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I have the gold. Let's store... That is a bit much. Store another... Let's see if I'm even able to touch this amount. Let's do a quick save. Am I able to give it to you? 30% chance. I will take it. Boom. What's the chance now? 36. Forty. It's just it's going so fast now. I stole his necklace too, huh? I don't want it though. Could you take it back? Thank you. You can take this too. And this. Now it's 50% chance. As you can see, this is just exponentially going faster and faster. But it is boring to watch. So I will cut now and I'll see you in zero seconds because the timing timer is running out. Pickpocket is now at 83, I'll see you in another zero seconds. Okay, it's at 98, let's just do the last pieces together. I have not increased the value from 458 since I started. And that is 100. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Take my things back, thank you. I will not use the level up right now. So first off, I have killed people and I'm still technically like in jail. 100 bounty added to Riften straight away. Yo. Yep, you're, you're not making a mistake. Yep, clear my bounty, thank you. Just like that. And that is it for this episode. Another, well, I can't show you. Another milestone has been hit. That being 100 pickpocket. Not really that useful, but now it's done. Um, I don't know what to do next. Um, one of the skills, I guess. Uh, sneak, archery, one-handed and two-handed are going to have to happen in the same time frame, question mark. Uh, I might go ahead and level up heavy armor. Well, yeah, sure. Let's try heavy armor and blocking. It's going to be a, a, a journey doing that. It takes a while, but it's very simple. But I'll see you guys next time. Hey, look at that. I almost forgot something. Again, I've never done that before. Um, using some of the leftover money I have. I say leftover. It's never leftover. But some of the money I have gathered. 
and now with the extra levels that I am allowed to purchase I'm gonna go ahead and buy a little bit more lockpicking training yep and that's the last point in stamina now every single point is going to health and yeah that that's that i'm poor again so that's cool bye